Hey guys, this is CTG once again bringing you the weekly mutation. It is still grave danger on Temple of the Past. This time I'm going as Vorazun and my ally will be Greyback, who is running in with Alarak. This is not a live cast. I would have wanted to do a live cast, but it was loud around the house at that time, so you'll have to settle for a commentary. Our forces are engaging Amon's minions across Shakuras, but the Dark God seeks this temple's demise. It will take time to activate the temple's power and repel his assault. Your objective is to defend it until that time comes. Defense is a losing strategy, but I shall seize victory nonetheless. As usual, I rush out the Dark Pylon as Vorazun because that not only saves 100 minerals for me, but that also increases my supply, so I'm able to go for longer, just producing probes and then rushing out the gateway. I rush out my two assimilators, they harvest Vespian gas automatically, so that is nice. My ally will be trying for Ascendance this game. He will try to. Put up more of a fight than you. He will try to hold off the early game while I mass Dark Templar and Corsair for the late game. Or that is a strategy at least. I am just hoping that we don't get something crazy like Sky Terran or uh, Scourge. But then again, Scourge is actually manageable with Alarak and Vorazu because Corsairs and Ascendants do well uh, versus Scourge because they have uh, splash damage. So I do full saturation on my main base because I will need those minerals for cannons. The cannons are not only uh, additional firepower but they are also detection in case the enemy decides to send cloaked units our way. So this probe is working on my rocks for now while my uh, Shadow Guard is going off cooldown, and there they are. Scale those rocks. Our foes are headed for us. Be ready to defend. Shift click on the rocks, so I can kill them quickly and use Dark Pylon Recall to get my army quickly back to the front. Looks like the enemy will be Bio Terran. So the Twilight Council is done. Our enemies are Terrans. Remain vigilant. The Twilight Council is done, so I start my uh, Dark Shrine. Get that medic. Very nice. So as soon as anomaly established, strike now, warriors. As soon as Time Stop goes off cooldown, I use it immediately. That's because uh, if you look at the top left corner, the t Temple Time is delayed. It is paused for the duration of uh, the time stop, so that actually buys us time to mass up our units. So let's Chrono Boost Shadow Fury to get uh, upgrade uh, Shadow, Shadow Fury for my Dark Templar, because that will allow us to kill a lot of the bio very fast without actually damaging our own Dark Templar. Let's get uh, some more gateways. It's actually nice that we are getting bio terrans since uh, those thing those things are pretty manageable. Not easy, but manageable for Dark Templar. Well, I guess it's easy if you have uh, good control and pick engagements very well. Ally rockers holding pretty well here. He just uses Destruction Wave, pulls back, and then as soon as the enemies draw near again, and as soon as uh, Destruction Wave goes off cooldown, he uses it immediately. So I will not be using much of Shadow Guard here. I will try to save my energy for Dark Pylons and Black Hole. Hybrid, ready yourselves, warriors. So there's a Void Reanimator, I snipe it down as soon as I can, because it spawns... The temple is beginning to awaken. It won't be long before it activates itself. It respawns enemies quickly. So the longer we let it live, 
the more enemies it will respawn and the more time it will take to clear off the enemy waves. So that's a hybrid nemesis. I'll let Alarak handle that. Must I compensate for your weakness? He used overcharge on my pylon. So I'm not rushing out Corsairs this game because the enemy is bio Terran, so we don't actually need anti-air just yet, but I'm getting my fleet beacon regardless. Yes, I will need it for the later game. Let's kill that wave. Let's chrono boost our attack upgrades for the Dark Templar. And another gateway. So I can get my Dark Templar faster. So this is the early game for me. Early to mid game. I'm just massing Dark Templar since that is a good response to bio -Terran, amazingly enough. Stop in time now. So time stop is off cooldown, so let's use that again. Allied forces are under attack. Let's throw down another gateway. Run our Dark Templar in. Kill that bunker. This bunker. The Void Thrasher is bombarding the temple. You must end its assault. So the Void Thrasher is out, so let's clear that out. And move our Dark Templar out of the way. And use Shadow Fury again. So far so good. Zero damage on the temple. So I rush out the cloaking upgrade for my Corsair since that not only uh, makes the Corsairs hard to see, the enemy will detection, but also because that increases the damage, uh, Vorazun's level 15 upgrade uh, does a 15% damage boost to cloaked units. That's why I'm rushing out the cloaking for my uh, Corsairs. Also, uh, Vorazun has a Death Recall buff for all cloaked units. So when the Corsairs die, they actually just warp back to my Nexus. Not necessarily full health, but still alive. There's my Corsair, my first one. Not enough Vespine. We seem to be floating a bunch of minerals here. Hybrid detected. Marking location now. Which is why I'm getting some photo and cannons. The Ancoms of Amon's betrayal. I will enjoy destroying them. I'm not sure if we'll be able to go the for the bonus. The stones are reacting to our actions. I suggest demolishing them for safety's sake. We won't prioritize the bonus this game. Uh, he has to kill those reanimators. Oh, witness. Is for the weak. So I use Black Hole to trap attack. those air hybrid because uh, I don't have enough Corsairs to splash them down yet. And use another Black Hole because uh, the hybrid somehow disabled my cannons. Our, I think they either destroyed my pylon or oh yeah, they just disabled it, but that's the same. By the way, I just noticed that instead of sending ravens as detection, the enemy now scans uh, for detection. I used to be, I used to have a lot of problems with Terran compositions because uh, the ravens actually do all splash damage with their seeker missiles, but now uh, they're just scanning for detection, and I actually like that a lot more than uh, going up against ravens. Time stop is ready, so I'll wait for the next attack wave, but once it hits, I'll use it right away. I think we need more pylons. Let's get another pylon. Again, this is why I'm saving my energy for pylons. It is a good day to die. Hybrid identified. Deliver them back to the void. The more dark pylons I use, uh, the more cloaking area I have, and the more minerals I will have left over for photon cannons. Half of the temple's configurations are complete. Remain steadfast until it can activate. Let's wait for the attack wave to get close, and then uh, wait for my time stop. I am disrupting time now. Be ready to attack. There we go. Run in. While Alarak's ascendants take care of those hybrid nemesis, I also kill down or shoot down the uh, void the animators. Let's take care of those SEVs. So the next 
attack will be a Void Thrasher on my side of the map, the southeast corner. So let's recall our army and run toward this area. Is under siege from a Void Thrasher. Slay it before it deals too much damage. Here it comes. We're done with it. Some siege tanks there. I use a dark or I use a black hole to trap all those units there. Very nice. Uh, so far we only have 8 damage on the temple, which is nice. So let's go for one of the bonus objectives. Oh, there's a there's a reanimator. Your conviction is admirable, commanders. We have two more Zenith stones to address. There's a reanimator on the southwest ramp. Uh oh, we killed my dark pylon. It looks like my allies on the southwest. So let's run to the northeast to cover to cover this area. Enemy drop pods detected. Um, That's gonna require more gas. Looks like we have uh, almost nice to clear it. The temple with a void thrasher. It has to be eliminated. The void thrasher is out. Let's get actually some more pylons and some more cannons. Huh. I guess that can't work since we have field. the minerals. So you can see my corsairs running in and using uh, disruption web all over the place. It's actually very nice. Since so that prevents the enemy from dealing damage and therefore preventing them from trans or transforming to stronger units. Hybrid signature detected. Ooh, Amon sends his little pets against me. I will tear them apart. So I'm using the minimap to move my army to the northeast, where the next attack wave is coming from. Oh, looks like there's another reanimator here. Let's let Alarak handle that. I signal my ally to handle that wave while I chase down the void reanimator on my end of the map. Just kill those medivacs. Uh, never mind. Yeah, let's just let that medivac stand there. It can't see anything anyway other than my dark pylons. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Avoid oh, the enemy. Wait, nuke? Where? Allied forces are under attack. I don't see it. Okay, I'll just assume that uh, one of my cannons managed to get that ghost. One of our pylons is under NFI. Speaking of photon cannons, let's get some more. And let's put down some more cannons here and some more pylons. Uh oh. Hybrid detected. Amon has sent his servants against us. Ah, there we go. There are two of them. No, there is zero. And checking my upgrades. Here's some more Dark Templar. And let's wait for the. I am disrupting time now. Be ready to attack. There we go. Now run in. Kill those hybrid. It looks like my ally is handling his corner of the map, the northwest, pretty well. So, uh, yeah, we're doing really well so far. I think that's uh, 56 damage overall to the temple. So that is actually pretty good. You'll have a lot of buffer for the last pair of thrashers. That's gonna require more gas. Let's get some more cannons. Because we're floating. Oh, that's a reanimator. You can see those uh, units getting revived. So let's uh, kill that reanimator. Severely harm the temple for as long as it lives. Let's go. So I signal my ally to defend the northeast while I charge into the southwest. Oh boy. We are detecting hybrid. They will soon regret facing us. Uh oh. That's range. Come on, kill that pressure. Hold position. And looks like my ally will pause the game. Wait. So many lag. <laughs> uh, 
uh, lag is a mass noun, so you use so much lag instead of so many, because many is for count nouns. Yeah, we're doing okay ish though. I must change my graphic setting. Did I just read that in Artanis' voice? I must change the graphic setting. We're just waiting for Greyback back to finish changing settings so we can have a uh, a video again rather than a uh, slideshow. Well, he is changing his settings at least. I'm I'm basically sticking with mine since uh, changing settings I believe requires a restart to take effect. So I'd rather uh, go with this setup. Go go. That Thrasher is actually uh, pretty tanky. Still on shields. Disruption web is very nice though. This is prevents the enemy from attacking. There we go. Now pull back. Oh, there's a lot of damage Dark Templar there. So we call them to safety. And look at that. Psionic orb spam. Pretty good against big waves of little things. And looks like my photon cannon investment is paying off. It's killing off those enemies right as they run into my base. And use some more disruption webs. What did he just overcharge? Oh, there's a hybrid uh, behemoth in my base. The temple's activation is nigh. Continue our defenses, commanders. It is almost time. So far... We are almost there! So far we are holding fine. Uh, 120 damage overall to the temple. It seems we will have to deal with more than one thrasher this time. Make haste, commanders. Time stop will actually be ready soon. Time steal, rather. I'm sorry, I don't know what time stop is. I only know time steal. Stop in time now. There we go. Now run in. With my stu with my dudes. Stuff of dudes. These dudes. Alright, let's kill those things. Use Death Fleet. And spam Shadow Fury all over this area. Thrasher is down. Oh, there are the nuclear silos or the uh, sorry, I was thinking of Starcraft one. Those are the uh, ghost academies. Let's put down a Dark Pylon here, so I can warp in some more Dark Templar right here. From the shadows, I come. That's gonna require more gas. I'm still gas-starved. I haven't been getting as many upgrades as I wanted, but I'm still gas-starved. Mm. Mm. They will be the first to know my wrath. Mm. It is a good day to die. Well, those hybrids, that's a lot of air hybrid though. The good news is, uh, I have a lot of Corsairs this time too. Uh oh, don't attack my, don't attack my Dark Pylon. There we go, Corsairs got that. And my Dark Templar have this side. Looks like we will be able to hold on just long enough. And not sure if my ally can handle that, but let's just wait for this side. We can run back to a side later since we have Dark Pylon to recall. to kill everything, kill those things, and now they are done. Uh, oh, GG. <laughs> All right, let's recall our dudes to meet the last wave on the southwest, while my ally handles the northwest. Couple of ghosts, use black hole, run in, and this is now a slideshow, guys. Welcome to the Weekly Mutation Slideshow. Since the frame rate dropped so low, there is actually not an animation anymore. But that's fine, since we will finish this mission with that. Uh, well, still a lot of health remaining on the temple. It's still in green. All right. The temple has been primed. Its activation will eradicate Amon's remaining forces. Well done, commanders. I hope you enjoyed that, with what little frames I could squeeze in. 
Uh, thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion on how else to beat this mutation, if you have a strategy on how to beat this with uh, Stukov, maybe going mass siege tanks or banshees or diamondbacks, please leave that in the suggestion or please leave that in the comment. And let's see the score screen where I have 2100 kills. Looks like my strategy worked extremely well, even out killing Alarak Ascendants. See you!